hello YouTube so all the videos that I have posted so far have been tutorials but when I'm not making tutorials I'm actually doing my own projects so this week I decided to make over a three dollar little mini bookcase that I found at Goodwill using children's books this is going to be a Disney themed bookcase so if you want to see how I did it stay tuned this is what the bookcase looked like when I first bought it. You can see there's nothing special about it, and it was $2.99 at Goodwill. I did not like this color, so I decided to paint it black. For the area with the shelves, I got it as best as I could with the spray paint, let it dry overnight, and then went back over it with a paintbrush and some black acrylic paint just to do the touch-up so it was nice and even black color. So, here's all my books. I got all of them but two at my local thrift stores and I just went through them one by one ripping out the pages that had pictures on them that I wanted to use on my bookcase. This was probably the most fun part of the process but then I had to cut them out. So I went through all of the images, cut them as close as I could, very time consuming but worth it in the end. Once I got all of those set, I went ahead and grabbed my bookcase to decide where I wanted to start placing them. Finding the placement for these images was the hardest part for me. It took the longest. Now, I used Mod Podge to adhere my images to the bookcase. So, once I found where I wanted it to be placed, I just put a thin layer of Mod Podge down first and then put my image on top of the Mod Podge. Once I liked where it was placed, I went ahead and rubbed it on, pressed it on. I tried not to rub too hard, just because some of the pages were super thin. They weren't that slick, high quality kind of paper, so they did like to kind of tear, so I had to be really careful about that. But I just kept going until I got all of my sides covered. But I guess the trick that I found, especially using the thinner paper, is to use a nice thin coat of Mod Podge to prevent the bubbles. Now, you can see on that Little Mermaid one there, right there, I do have a few bubbles, but I got some of that rubbed out later. Honestly, I like the way that the bubbles look on certain parts just because it gives it a little bit of character. It doesn't look like it was mass produced or manufactured in a factory, which is another reason I chose to do it this way. I was asked actually by my husband why I didn't just print off the images that I wanted to use. And the reason was having the different styles of paper and the different styles of prints that came from different printers is fascinating to me. I think that adds a whole different level of character that I like. I like the way that looks. So I decided to wrap the edges of my pictures around the bookcase. So if it hung over, I decided to fold it over and put it on that front edge of the bookcase just so it kind of I don't know. It gave it a little bit different of a look because that ledge was too thin for me to really put anything else on there. Unless I wanted to use like washi tape or just paint it something special. So after I got all of my images placed on there where I wanted them to go, I started putting extra coats of Mod Podge on top of the images. The first one was thin, getting thicker as I went, and this is how it turned out. I think it looks awesome. My adorables are going to look way cool in my custom Disney bookcase. So if you decide to try something like this, let me know how it turned out for you because these are the projects that I love to do the most. These are the ones I started with and these are the ones I will continue to do. But I hope you enjoyed the video.